For those who live down here in South Carolina, man, I feel bad for you guys. There ain't shit to do down here. This is three days into this trip now. Today's my last day here. Tomorrow I head back to New York and I cannot wait to be back in that energy because being down here a city kid, I literally feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere. I feel like I'm in the sticks and personally, I can't see myself staying here for three more days. I think I would go insane. But besides that, for the time that I have been here in between hanging out with my girlfriend and her family, which has been great, I've just been trying to stay as busy as possible. So I went and checked out the Myrtle Beach skate park. That was whatever. Then I tried to ride street in Myrtle Beach and there literally was no street spots. I'm pretty sure that this 30 mile radius of where I'm staying at right now, right, just outside of Myrtle Beach, there ain't nothing to ride, ain't nothing to skate, ain't nothing to scoot in line, whatever the hell you do, there ain't nothing to do for action sports. It's just land, land everywhere and nothing going on. So I just been Googling stuff to do and I came across this abandoned amusement park. And once I seen that, I was like, I gotta go check it out. And it works out in our favor today because it's New Year's Day, which means that anyone that normally patrols this place or watches this place any security police more than likely today they're off which gives us a high chance of getting in there not getting caught getting out then just heading back to new york but <laughs> hopefully no crackheads are in there that's my biggest concern going in this place and getting stabbed let's do this This is pretty wild. This is uh, this is the front of this freestyle amusement park. It's literally a ghost town. Everything's destroyed. It almost looks like someone came to this exact spot that I'm standing in right now, took out a gun, and just started obliterating everything. I mean, some of these buildings look like someone took a RPG and just blew up. Literally looks like something that you would see in a game of Call of Duty. Let's go check it out. I feel like it just, you know, I feel like I gave it a good karate kick. I just like right here so i guess this is where you came you checked in this is uh the service booth where you buy your tickets it's garbage everywhere destroyed everything gone you know they came in and they took all the copper that they could another one of these guest service rooms got a little safe back there i'm sure that nothing in that if you can even get in it yeah it ain't going anywhere what is this trash bunch of boxes of these pamphlets like ads for the park I guess full volume fun awaits you holy shit this park got a f no park's got a roller coaster two roller co three roller coasters look at this this looks crazy hello if there's like a opening right here Nope, it's locked up. Right here. Easy. Easy as that. Let's just walk right in. It's a warm welcome and come into this amusement park. They f blew the top off this joint. I see you. I see you. Turn around. I feel like I should have a weapon on me right now being in this place, but I ain't got shit. Oh, I cannot ride in this. Pull right through the window. Freestyle Mercantile. I guess that's one of the buildings here where they had some sort of thing going on. Maybe a gift shop. I don't really know. Red, red wine. Not bad. We got any wine for your boy? We just went through this building. There's really not that much, but I would like to get on that rooftop eventually before we leave here. This building really doesn't have much and neither does this wine place, this wine dispenser, whatever the f it was. If I don't get a fly by the end of today, that'll be a miracle. Look at that, a BMX ad. Adrenaline rush with a BMX bike. That's pretty dope. This door, it says 777, don't kill your friends, kids. Pretty wild. Dial 666 if you need to get a hold of me. Jesus. It literally looks like an old town that you would see in a movie with like cowboys and Indians. Like got this old movie theater broken down. You got this building which could have been a bar. I don't know what the hell this shit is. Barn door. Shit looks crazy. I guess this is the warm welcoming of the amusement park. Now this, what we just went through before is probably just like the beginning, you know, the little gift shops, theater, get something to drink, maybe a bar for the parents, whatnot. But this clearly 
starts all the fun. Everything is just so overgrown. You got palm trees down on the ground over here. There was three roller coasters on the map and I don't see a single one of them. And I feel like from, from where I'm at right now, you'd be able to see literally everything. Please create your own furry friend. Oh, this is like a Build-A-Bear workshop. Got this rock thing right here. I can't really see behind it. Looks like another one of those fountain spots. You can see all the bolts in the ground, which probably held up something like this, which had a fountain, something more for the kids. Cutting through the abyss right now. No way. No way this is real. They got a skate park inside of this place. You're joking. You're lying. Got this up ledge right here. The flat to down the flat rail. Low little ledge. Got this bank into this pool, which literally is so black you can't even see how deep it is. Another bank right here. A quarter pipe that's broken. Look, you even have skate light right here. That's pretty wild. You got this like lifeguard thing right here with a bunch of stripper poles on it. Even more, you got these rollers right here. Now it makes sense. It was literally a ramp park around this pool. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I've never really seen something like this. A skate park inside of an amusement park. It throws a bunch of questions at me. Like what did, what did they use a skate park for? Did they rent out skateboards or bikes to people? Or did people do demos because it's right next to a pool and I can see kids just getting hurt all the time and they have like this manual pad that goes straight into the pool maybe this was a pool that you could ride and it just filled up with rainwater over the years who the f knows who knows pretty solid trying to give myself a little runway so i can hit this wall ride but there's so many nails everywhere Not in there. I guess if you really want to put it into perspective, this bush grew right next to this ledge and you know for damn sure when this amusement park was open, that bush definitely wasn't there. And how long does it take for a bush like this to grow? Maybe that's how long this park has been uh, abandoned. I don't really know. I don't think there's any way we're going to be able to use these rollers. Cause uh, literally just goes right to nowhere. I don't know how I'd use that. I'm just going to say it. We keep moving. We got another bank set up with a little bit of flat bottom. I think that would maybe be like the starting point. And then you came around, hit the rollers, went around the pool, hit the ledge, turned around, maybe jumped off that manual pad into the pool. Literally throwing a bunch of questions at me that I'm curious about. You might even jumped off the scaffolding over here, right into the pool. Who the f that was some Tony Hawk American Wasteland shit. This is, this is literally Tony Hawk American Wasteland right here. What did we give Rusty the last time when he jumped in that pool? Like 150 bucks? I bet you if I gave him like 500, he would do a backflip in this, swim in this, drink Henny in this, all that. 500 bucks, guarantee Rusty jump in this pool. Rusty, if you want next time, you know, when we come back to Florida, we'll stop here and you get a quick dip. I'll give you 500, you jump in this pool. And if you jump in with your bike, I'll even give you a thousand. I want to go on top of this thing with the bike for a thumbnail, but it's just like, do I throw it up there? And then it has a chance of going in there because if it goes in there, I ain't getting it. One of you guys are going to have to come get it. You can just keep it. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be a mission. We're doing it. Thought getting up was hard. Guarantee you getting down is gonna be much harder. This is super sketchy, this whole thing's shaking. Ow. That's it for the skate park. You guys seen it, got these stack ledges. Oh boy. the go-to when you're in these situations glass everything i know i'm not gonna fuck up on a bar spin for those of you guys that wonder oh why you do so many but shut the fuck up all right i'm at an abandoned water park with glass nails needles everything you could possibly name that's why i'm doing bar spin this looks like like another sort of gift shop uh not really much inside the whole thing is completely taken apart obviously they want to take all the copper that they can so they rip everything out yeah, insulation, that could be even asbestos. So I'm gonna stay out of here, actually. We're gonna cross this and go explore what's on the other side. Oh man. See, look at this. The gap. Just die. Holy shit. <laughs> I take back what I said before about the Barstons. All right, first thing we come across is like this booth. Almost like a, an old telephone booth. This is the top of it, let's see what it says. Nothing that was inside. This was the logo. Pitmaden Bar, your local 7-Eleven, it's funny. Got a little mushroom over there, which means uh, Van Homan is here. He's probably ate the rest of them and left one. Strawberry Fields and Cream. 
Sounds like a place I'd want to visit, get my milkshake, you know what I'm saying? Says who the f right in the front. All copper ripped out. Definitely going up on top. Maybe bring the bike up on another roof. Not really that cool of a roof to ride on because you really can't see much, but maybe we could find another one. Another abandoned shack. What does it say on the inside? Safety is just an illusion. There's a lot of these things, a lot of abandoned, just little buildings you guys can see in the background. I guess that's a part of the amusement park. I mean, it is, you know, connecting the two with this bridge. You got this dope painting over here. Ah. Really not that dope anymore. I mean, there's cocks all over the goddamn pit. Come on. Look at that. That's a dope spot. A little ledge piece. Jump up there. Get a quick trick off. Not really much to explore in there, just an abandoned warehouse. It goes back for days. Yeah, this almost looks like a store, like a big Lowe's or something. Literally just empty. Oh shit, look at this thing. That's pretty dope. I wonder if I could ride up this like a quarter. Ah, oh, so bumpy. Oh, oh my god. Oh, so much glass. Let's go check it out real quick. Get a better view of this whole place. That's the water that splits up like uh, the entrance section to the little skate park over there. You cross this. That was like the whole arcade over there. I'm assuming like this, uh, all these like ledges and stuff where the concrete is, that's where uh, the, the roller coasters were probably at. Get a little tour around this place real quick. It says, don't look. Y'all can look. Ain't shit inside of there. They went the T-Bog over the gap. Look at all these cards. How's this? Annual pass, freestyle music park, Myrtle Beach, full volume, family fun. I guess we got the uh, the key to this place. The full season pass to come back whenever the f we want. Wow, look at that. That is a perfect spot for an ad. Ain't that the most fire f ad you've ever seen? Just like that, I'm out.